Hello everyone. In this video of my lab, I'm going to show you the benefit of using Oracle managed file. First of all, let's see what's the managed Oracle file. Oracle managed file is a feature that will simplify the administration of Oracle database. If you use OMF, you will eliminate the need of accessing OS level to manage the files. That's mean as a DBA, you will use your tools, your commands line to manage everything without need to know anything in the OS or accessing OS directly to complete your managing of Oracle files. That's include data files, read log, control file, and all other Oracle files. Let's see how this will work with and without this feature in Oracle. First of all, if you install your Oracle using database, configuration assistant or without this without enabling this feature of oracle managed file you have to complete some work in the database level then go to the OS level let's see how this will work so now here for example i don't have any data file in this current path and i'm going to connect to my oracle databases using SQL plus first let me change whether this OMF is configured for DB creation file or not how I can do this for example I can check the parameter show parameter DB create file test oh it's there is no value for this that means the DB creation file is not managed how this will be affecting for example if I create a table space table space OMF underscore test one without using OMF this will be failed you can see there is no default data file there is no default time file everything I have to specify it so how to create without OMF I have to mention everything I have to mention that table space OMF for example underscore test one then I have to mention the data file belong to this for example I'm using user02 or a data then OMF underscore 01.dbf and size for example starting with this and bringing this data table space as online all these I have to mention it then this will be created now here if I do a select name from V data data file you will see this data file has been created when I explicitly mentioning this again let me just select the name from V table space this is my new table space and the OS level if I just list I will found this the path that I used while creating this so let me revert back to my SQL and drop this table space drop table space the one I have created is OMF underscore test one that the one just here can copy it paste it or use it like this so if I drop this oh sorry it's there is a mistake spelling mistake drop there we are T extra now table space has been dropped and if I select as a DBA select name from V table space sorry select name from V table space mm, I can select name from V table space 
or what's this? Again, and I can select name from the table space. Slowly, I'm writing here to avoid the spelling mistake. All right. So this show that the table space has been dropped. Again, let me select name from the data file. The file does not exist, so me as a DBA, I cannot see anything really regarding the drop databases. However, if I go back to the OS level, still the data file is, is exist. Without OMF, you have to complete your task in the OS level. If you missed to drop this from command line in the SQL, you have to go again to the OS and remove this using OS level deletion. So I have to remove this file, otherwise disk belong to this will continue use this file. So let me remove it manually. Now let's use, let's enable and use the OMF. So how to enable it? I have to set parameter destination for creation. For example, in my system here, I will alter the system, set a DB, create file test, equal the path of this user or two, or a data. Now, if I create a table space, OMF test 2 without mentioning data file or size or online it will be automatically managed by Oracle and create everything in the following path let's press enter and see how this will work ah great I didn't mention anything only table space and this name let me see now what's happened select name from v data file Okay, there is a data file being created. There is a the subdirectory being created for data file and naming. It's automatically managed by Oracle. So any OS come will not understand this is belong to what because it's being named by Oracle and these details of whatever named is here between the table spaces and you and whatever you create it will be make sure managed by oracle that's non duplicate so it will be always unique with oracle managed file there is no chance to lose this file because it's have a unique name no chance for corruption or misunderstanding of naming it will be managed by oracle and now if i just would like to confirm this and see the to this path data file to the oracle and data file this is the file so let me just reconnect and here now i will just drop table space and mentioning the table space name it's on f underscore test two here is it. It's a dropped. Let me select the file and see. Select name from V data file. All files not exist here. Let me just double check this in the OS level list again. Been dropped automatically. So there is no need to do any OS level. Yes, if you don't use Oracle um, if you have to explicitly for example while dropping a table space mentioning including contents and data files and blah 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 however there is a chance of uniqueness by mistake you create a lot of files especially if you have ASM or a lot of files for your database there is a chance that you by mistake drop another data file or forgetting content to include it that will lead you to, to have a disk full however you already dropped 
your file so it's much better for you as a DBA to use this feature I hope with this simple lab you get a benefit of knowing what's the use of OMF and how to enable it and use it thank you for watching my simple lab and see you on another video